and welcome back to the channel. On today's video, as I ride around on the Aerial Rider Grizzly, I want to talk about what is too hot to ride your e-bike. Not for you, the rider, but for the the bike. I'm specifically thinking the motor and the battery. Um, and so, so where do we draw the line on that? Like, where's the excessive? Uh, where you don't want to get damaging your bike. So. Uh, from what I could gather, because I did not know this answer and I looked, did some research and looked it up. So, as far as the battery, it looks like the ideal temperature for riding for your battery, the sweet spot if you want to call it that, is between 60 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. That's what uh, they consider to be the good uh, spot where you'll get the most productive uh, out of your uh, battery, your uh, product, most productive performance is between those temperatures. And the reason why I'm talking about this subject is because we're currently for a few days here now, we're under a heat advisory. And right now as I ride around on this video, and I won't make it too long here because I don't want to get too warm, we're uh, at a temperature right now of 93 degrees. I don't know if that's going to be the high temperature for the day. It may go another degree or two more, but that's where we're sitting at the moment. And uh, so it made me uh, think, you know, I've done video before talking about cold rides and doing some cold rides and how that affects your battery and drains your battery if you're out there uh, and it's cold well apparently uh, it's not good to be riding your bike it's not good for the uh, battery if the temperature gets below 40 degrees that's where your battery will drain faster and as far as high temperature, from what I can gather, it looked like it was 110 uh, degrees, which I don't know if you'd want to be out there riding at 110 degrees. We recently, two summers ago, I think it was, I don't think it was last summer, but two summers ago, we had a uh, 117 degree day or 116, one or the other, take your pick. But it was excessively warm. It was the warmest day ever in um, this area uh, on record. And um, so, yeah, I just wondered about, um, you know, is that good? And the other thing is you don't want to leave your battery in the sunshine, direct uh, sunlight, uh, even if the temperature is cooler. Uh, they say that's a no-no as well for your battery. If anybody has any uh, comments or, or something that they can add to this topic, because I really don't know about the topic, I just did a little look up to see. That's why I was curious about it. And uh, so if you've got something you can add to this uh, um, subject here, go ahead and leave it in the comments. I would appreciate that and it would help everyone else out there with clarifying it but that's what I found anyway anywhere between 60 and 80 is the good spot to be in and then oh it looks like they got something going on there I'm not going to go in there but and then the uh, excessive is 110 and the colder uh, at 40 degrees doesn't mean you can't ride it at 40 degrees. I don't know what, it, I think it may damage the battery at 110, but at below 40, I mean, I've ridden 
um, in below uh, that for sure several times over the course of the past winter here and um, it was fine um, but I didn't do real long rides you know I wasn't out there for very long um, but uh, as far as the motor goes now here's where I couldn't really find a definitive I found a few things but there was no real definitive that I could uh, find that I uh, can share with you so that's another one if somebody does know um, about the motor and what temperatures both high and low it can handle um, I know they do have a um, overheating uh, cutoff where the motor will automatically shut off so that's a great thing to have so we don't get the motor overheating but I don't know if the motor is similar to the uh, to the battery as far as ideal temperature is 60 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit um, which would be around 15 or 16 Celsius to about 26 or 27 uh, Celsius is that the uh, ideal also for the motor if anybody else, um, out there um, knows better than I do because I don't have an idea here uh, maybe you can chime in as well in the comments that would be appreciated and, and um, help everyone out on that because hey we want to ride we want our bike in the uh, most ideal uh, conditions if we can get it but maybe you're living in a climate that you're either always really warm or always really cool on the cool side and you don't get that sweet spot in the middle or not very often I mean ideally 60 to 80 for me would be absolutely perfect I could live with that year round but it just got me to thinking though with our uh, a uh, heat advisory going on right now for three days or so you know uh, how does that affect our e-bike you know in what way a little bit on the breezy side and then riding creates a little more breeze so that helps to fan me here right now so it's not too bad A nice little piece of shade right there while we're on the subject maybe we can get you to chime in as well in the comments what's the warmest what's the warmest day you can remember riding your electric bike in and maybe what's the coldest day you can remember riding your bike in? For me, I do not know. I just know that on that extremely warm day, I should say extremely hot day, that it was 116 or so, I did ride my bike. So that for me, that would be the hottest day because I did ride it to and from work. But that's about all I did. I didn't go for any other ride and my ride to and from work is one mile each direction so it's not like I had to go very far and I leave early in the morning so it wasn't 115 when I went to work and when I come home it wasn't at the hottest point of the day either so um, there is that so it wasn't actually 117 degrees it might have been I might have been 113 something like that all right I'm gonna try to scoot by here really quick all right well that's gonna do it for this video on this hot day so if you do want to comment on this video uh, maybe uh, you have some uh, additional information you can give us on the motor and the battery uh, both hot and cold uh, situations and also what's the hottest and coldest days you've ever ridden in that you can remember and also if you'd like to uh, or like this video go ahead and hit the thumb uh, the like button and uh, 
If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much for doing that. And also, if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up here on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you will be notified. So once again, thank you for coming along for this hot ride. And until next time, take care.